Haiku Shio Chu Gonabira. I'm Robert Fija Kajiwara. Thank you to Carlos Martinez and No Cold War for inviting me to speak today. Thank you also to all of the other presenters and to everyone watching. I am native Luchuan, also known as Okinawan or Uchinanju. I'm also native Hawaiian. Before we continue, I should mention that this video contains images of graphic violence and warfare. Viewer discretion is advised. I am president of Uchina Wada Nushinka, or Peace for Okinawa Coalition, headquartered in Uchinashi, or Okinawa City. We are a nonprofit organization founded and led by millennial Luchuans, or Uchinanchu, in order to promote Luchu culture, history, languages, and issues. We work closely with many other groups in Luchu, particularly the Luchu Independence Action Network, founded by Mr. Shigenori Yamahara. We also work with many other groups abroad, particularly with Native Hawaiians and other indigenous peoples. Luchuans are the indigenous peoples of the Luchu Islands, as recognized by UNESCO, CERD, the UN Human Rights Committee, and many other organizations and scholars. According to archaeologists, Luchuans have inhabited the Luchu Islands for over 32,000 years. We have our own unique history, culture, languages, and identity. Historically, Luchu had very close, friendly, and mutually beneficial relationships with China, Korea, and Southeast Asia. Luchu was a center of international trade, finance, diplomacy, and cross-cultural exchange, and Luchu has never declared war on another nation. In the year 1609, the Satsuma clan of Japan, which was Japan's largest and most warlike clan, attacked Luchu, forcing Luchuans to pay tribute. However, Luchu maintained its sovereignty and continued to thrive as an independent country. During the mid-19th century, Luchu became internationally recognized by the Western nations as an independent country with the signing of treaties with the United States, France, and the Netherlands. In 1879, Japan used its new Western-style military to illegally annex Luchu against the will of Luchuans. Luchuans appealed to their friend China for help, but China at the time was too weak. During World War II, Japan intentionally placed an inordinate amount of military presence onto Uchina or Okinawa Island with the deliberate intent of sacrificing Uchinanshu or Okinawans in order to protect Japan. This resulted in the Battle of Okinawa in 1945 in which more than one-fourth of the Uchinanshu population was killed during a time span of just three months. Japanese soldiers intentionally murdered thousands of Uchinanshu, including women, children, and the elderly, and also forced thousands of others to commit suicide. After the war, most of Japan's other colonies received back their independence, except for Luchu, because the United States military decided to keep Luchu for itself to use for military bases. Luchuans lived under direct U.S. military rule, had no form of democracy, and strongly opposed the U.S. military. Professor Hoshin Nakamura of Okinawa University survived the Battle of Okinawa but lost his younger brother. He has been an advocate for the restoration of Luchu's independence for over 50 years. He and other Luchuans at the time demanded a restoration of Luchu's independence, but the U.S. ignored these demands and in 1972 gave Luchu to Japan without a vote from Luchuans, which is illegal under international law, and since then Luchuans have lived under joint U.S. and Japanese occupation. Professor Nakamura told me that during the Vietnam War, the U.S. military said that they are in Okinawa in order to protect Okinawans from the Viet Cong. However, the Viet Cong won the war and never invaded Okinawa. 
Now the US military is saying the exact same thing about China. However, due to the long history of peace and friendship between China and Luchu, the overwhelming majority of Luchuans do not see China as a threat. Even the US government has privately admitted this via WikiLeaks. Luchu shares a ocean border with China, so if the overwhelming majority of Luchuans don't see China as a threat, the US and other nations should also be asking, is China truly a military threat? The truth is around 80 to 90 percent of Luchuans or Uchinanchu oppose the US military presence of our islands. Although Uchina or Okinawa makes up less than 1% of Japan's land area, it contains over 70% of the military presence, including 30,000 U.S. soldiers, along with their families, as well as American civilian workers making for a total of around 80,000 Americans. These Americans often commit crime in Uchina, including violent crime against women and children. Also, U.S. military aircraft often have accidents in Uchina, endangering the lives of both Uchinanchu civilians as well as the soldiers themselves. The military also causes numerous environmental problems, including the poisoning of Uchina's drinking water with cancer-causing agents. The military takes up over 15% of Uchina's land and around 30% of the arable land, yet contributes only around 5% to the economy, running at a huge economic burden on the Uchinanchu people. Given all of these problems, we hope you can see why we strongly dislike the military occupation of our islands. We are working to restore Luchu's rightful independence, remove the military from our islands, and once again make Luchu a center for peace and prosperity. I'm just about out of time for today, so I'll end here. Thank you again to everyone for watching. If you would like more information, please check out our website, peaceforokinawa.org. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.